Right, okay, good morning everyone. Um, hope everyone's okay. So, a couple of my videos earlier this week, I'd said to you, look out for a, a good video I've got coming up on Friday. Um, today is Friday, it's Friday the 1st of April, April Fool's Day, this is not an April Fool. Um, so today I have been given, uh, let me turn you around, I've been given exclusive access to the Nugent Park Orphanage hospital and uh, mental in institution or mental hospital yeah that's right um, I'm just outside now um, waiting um, to be let in but I've been given exclusive access into this amazing building um, I did a drone video of this building a few few weeks ago now um, shared a bit of history so um, initially opened as a children's orphanage in 1874 September 1874 such an old building it's an amazing looking building um, it was a children's um, a children's orphanage then went to a, um, a, a mental hospital um, then into a I think a, a standard hospital or the other way around a hospital a mental hospital and then um, an old people's home I believe um, so yeah like I say we've I've been lucky enough um, I've been been talking to to the person that um, manages or, or runs it at the moment as as ghost hunts um, and I've been lucky enough for them to for them to to let me in um, and have a look around and do this video um, so it's just it's such an amazing opportunity I'm, I'm really really uh, over the moon that I'm able to do this and bring this to you so um, it's a little <laughs> it's a little eerie as well um, you know I've been reading up there's there's been many, many sightings of ghosts and paranormal activity from from people having, um, you know, people feeling strange to getting um, to to feeling like breathing on their necks, so right up to um, full apparitions into to tables moving, doors slamming, stuff like that. So I just want to get in there and see what it looks like inside in the in the daylight. I'm going to do one of the one of the ghost hunts soon, so I'll keep you all posted on that um, in case anybody wants to jump on it with me, because that would be really really great if any subscribers wanted to do it at the same time um, but for now I'm gonna get inside and have a look at this this amazing building uh, let's take a look Room. So when we do the events, this is where like the main base room is. So this this was a uh, dining room. The dining room, yeah. Uh, so you used to have it, you'll see on some buildings, it's like the big pass of all that used to sit on. I've seen that, yeah. yeah so that's where it was. That was there. It was there on that wall and obviously you'll see the picture of the kids on the pads and these like up the floor and stuff in the end.
Cheers. <laughs> James, have you ever, have you ever um, seen anything, encountered stuff in here? Um, I've had loads of experiences, yeah. Have you? I've never seen things, but I've had loads of experiences. Things moving and stuff like that, or? Really? So I just done a little video outside because I had a little read up and it said um, people had said from all sorts, from just hearing little noises, breathing down, things breathing, growling. Okay, so this is Ward G. Really? Really, yeah. yeah. this then this steamed did it yeah and how many rooms there's a lot Did they really? Yeah, because apparently, like I say, when they bought them left, they really did just bought them left and left. So we going up to, would, it, would this be the third floor then? Um, yeah, this is the, yeah, the third floor. So this another, what, what was another ward then? Up here, yeah, I'll show you Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. Come on, Ben, open. Blocked away. Well, as what I age for the kids? Hmm? What age for the kids? From from anything, I think, Ben. Yeah, yeah, from yeah, like yeah, um yeah, like yeah. five, from, well, like, less as well. They were from like. Yeah, some of them were. Obviously, when it was an orphanage, one to close Um, when it was when it was an orphanage, obviously they wouldn't have understood anything like ADHD or anything like that. So no, not the, back then. The it was it wasn't a thing. Yeah, they yeah. mistook it for naughtiness. Yeah, yeah, and then just yeah. brought them up and locked them in. Yes, back then it would be diagnosed. Would so this, this would be where they'd be locked in. Yeah. If they were naughty. There's just. How long was that for? Just days, hours, days, weeks. Yeah, basically, I'm on basically for four now.
So we're in a bathroom in Ward C, the psychiatric, and James has just said this is where there's always activity. So. Yeah. Oh, he's like the main generator. Look at there now, mate. This is the main generator here. Weird sense of like stepping back in time. Yeah. You can tell by the perm on the woman in the picture. <laughs> Bloodborne viruses. Kind of is Bunsen burner type yeah, of thing, is it? Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Which makes you think, though, what would they... And with all the bottles and that as well. Experiments. They're definitely mixing up something in here, weren't they? Some pint glasses there as well. I thought they were doing just making ale. Oh, this is like a communication dream, isn't it? Yeah, Harris, Harris telephones. Yeah, this is like the old, you know where they'd like, they'd have to move the, move the wires around to connect people and stuff like that, isn't it? Yeah, I'm 
the hold, yeah. So they, they would have been them probably all the way along. Yeah, well, maybe. that's what it looks like, doesn't it? In the, yeah. Um, you can get in if you want, you can have a lay down in it if you want. Oh, gee, look at that. Good, man. Look, you like the nice again? <laughs> Okay, so there you go, guys. That was the Nugent Park orphanage. I'm still in here now, um, just in the main, um, the main. What would you call it? Reception, I suppose. As you as you walk in, um, right by the administration office there, um, which is great because when you walk over, it's still got like um, it was like a, an old bank, um, you know, where you'd put like your money in or whatever tickets I, I don't know I don't know but it's I hope I hope the videos I hope the videos and footage and shots I've got I've done it justice because that's that's an amazing amazing building to walk around so lucky um just gotta thank thank you very much to James um for showing me around um there's a plan of it yeah, so I just need to say a big thank you to James from Haunted Happenings from for showing me round. Um, really, really appreciated that, James. Like I say, I hope I've done it justice. Um, I'm going to be jumping on a Haunted Happenings event um, on a probably a Friday or Saturday evening. So, guys, if anybody, if anyone, any one of you fancies that, um, please do drop me a message. Um, let me know. Um, Put a message down and we'll plan it. I'll, I'll plan it. Um, be great. Be great if some subscribers fancied it. It'd be really, really good. I'd, I'd love that. Um, if a few of us could could get on it. And I'll speak to James and see if James will do something for us. Um, he probably won't. <laughs> he probably won't. But uh, I'll see what I can do. Um, but I'd, I'd, I'd love to do that. So if anybody fancies it, um, please please do. This is another one of my my um, urban walking um, ones like I say I was really lucky for, for James to, to let us in um, so I hope you enjoyed the video um, I don't know if the video has caught anything um, James said that sometimes when people have video or took, took photos that sometimes there's been um, things that, that have popped up on photos he said that one photo they did take it I think it's um, he said if you google it there's a photo they took of the group afterwards the group that had done a haunted event took a photo of the group and there was somebody else in the photograph um a, a complete and he said it looked like a girl who was actually smiling so she enjoyed herself um but they had no idea who it was weird weird um very eerie place very eerie place um i think i'd have sorry i'm hand getting in the way i think i'd have shown um there was like a electricity machine um like an electric shock machine a really old one what they used to up to people's brains because they thought back then it was making them better um 
I must have seen some sights and and that this place honestly um so guys i really really hope you enjoyed that i really hope my my footage and my shots have done it justice Re that's that's oh, i really hope so um by now we'll know um but yeah uh guys keep your eyes peeled um loads more coming up um drop me a message down below if you fancy doing a, a haunted event um Okay, drop me a message and we will plan it soon. Um, it's, it's six hours, six hours one night, um, it is. So I think it'd be great to do. And I'll see if I can get quite a, a few. I'll see if James will do us a, a deal. But anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Stay peeled. Mr. Drone, out.